What's up guys? My name is Michael and this video is about Capture One Pro 20 and its features. If you haven't seen Capture One before, you will also learn how it works and what it looks like. Let's go. First of all, I want to show you the user interface. Currently on the left side, we have the browser. The browser shows you the thumbnails. In the middle, you can see the viewer and the viewer shows you a single or multiple selected images. And on the right side, we have our editing tools. And these tools can be customized completely, which means that you can take a tool, pull it out, go into another tab, place it in here, and of course, the other way around. And you can also take any tool, place it wherever you want, make it nice and big. And for example, when you work with curves, it's really easy to make really fine adjustments and then return the tool wherever you like. The tools have completely been redesigned, which means that we can now scroll in our tools and we can also pin tools to the top, which need to be visible all the time. To move a tool from the scrollable area to the pinned area, you can just drag and drop it, or you can also use these three little dots to decide in which area you want this tool to be. Capture One's workspace is completely customizable, which means that we can hide the browser. We can also hide the viewer to only see thumbnails. We can also hide the tools and our tools and browser can also switch positions and we can also place the browser to the bottom. Another new feature in Capture 120 is the direct color editor. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to reset this image, press D on my keyboard, and now I'm in the direct color editor. I can now select any color in this image, for example, the blue on this wall, click and drag to the right to change the color, click and drag upwards to increase its saturation, drag downwards to decrease saturation. And when I press and hold the option button on my keyboard, I can then change the lightness of any color in my image. And that's a really convenient way to edit images. I love it. But we're just getting started regarding colors because there's even more to discover. Let's have a look at our color editor and to be more precise, the advanced color editor. I'm going to select the color picker, click on this flag and select its red color. And I'm going to select view selected color range. And now you can see that this building is also included in this color selection. I can now change this color selection, make it smaller, which means that now only the red in the flags is in this color selection. So I can now change this color. I can change its hue. I can change its saturation and lightness. And if that's not enough, there's even more. By clicking on these three little dots, I can create a masked layer from this color selection, which means that I can now apply almost every tool to this selection. And that's amazing because I can now increase clarity in these areas or I can increase contrast or apply a curve or whatever. I mean, you have to be creative, but the tool is just amazing. The high dynamic range tool has also been completely updated, which means that all of the sliders now start in the middle, which means that especially the highlight slider is way more intuitive because dragging it to the left makes the highlights darker, dragging it to the right makes them brighter. The same is true for the shadows, dragging to the left makes them darker and dragging them to the right makes them brighter. So this change in the high dynamic range tool allows me to not only decrease contrast, but also increase contrast. The crop tool has also been improved, which means that the edges are now way more visible than before. Now the loop tool is not something new, but it's still one of my favorite tools. You can access it by pressing P on your keyboard, click anywhere in a thumbnail or a full size image and see a magnification of a certain area. 
When working with layers, Capture One gives you all kinds of different masking options. There's a gradient mask, there's a radial mask, there's a luma mask, and you can also draw a mask with a pen tool. If you like working with presets, you will love Capture One. For this image, I'm just going to apply one of my own styles, which is the name of presets in Capture One, and you can see how dramatic the image changes. But the greatest feature about styles and presets in Capture One is that you can put them on a layer, change their opacity and use a mask to apply them to a certain part of the image. One of my favorite tools in Capture One is certainly the color balance tool. Maybe you have never heard of that before. And that must be because the color balance tool is something that is usually used in color grading for videos. Let me show you what you can do with that. For this image, I'm just gonna drag the shadows into a blue tone, the midtones into a yellow tone, and the highlights as well a little bit into the yellow tone. And you can also change the contrast of the image by using these sliders on the right. Now let me show you what it looks like without the color balance tool and with the color balance tool. Now let me show you how easy it is to synchronize edits between images. Currently on the left we have the edited image and on the right side we have another copy of the same image which is unedited. I'm now going to use the copy and apply tool and by holding shift on the keyboard, clicking this button, all of the edits from the left image are applied to the right image. If you want to synchronize the settings of a single tool, you can use this little double arrow symbol here, shift click and all of the edits will be synchronized to the second image. If you're still wondering what makes Capture One so special, let's talk about tethering. Now the great thing about tethering is you can just plug in your camera, take a picture and it will show up on your screen. But there is way more than that because you can get a live view from your camera on your computer, you can adjust focus, you can also change your camera settings, change your aperture, change your ISO and much more. And last but not least, I want to show you the export functionality in Capture One. Currently I have selected four images and I have selected four export recipes. I have also set the subfolder to be named by the recipe name. So once I process this export, you will see that four folders will be created and the images will be placed inside that folder, which is an amazing way to export your images. And you have certainly not seen everything in this video. If you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.